Coming up, I'm going to show you a cool little Chrome app for all those people who love to stream music on their Mac. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the Leap Motion Controller. Hello and welcome to Techspresso. Techspresso. Ooh, nice. We are back, for real, again. This is like a new record. So we're jumping right back in to this wonderful podcast. Hope you're excited, because we aren't. <laughs> no. <laughs> None of this. Anyway, um, coming up down. right now, I believe uh, Marcel's going to talk about a new way to interact with your computer. That I am. Pretty Thanks, sweet. Sean. On a recent trip to my local electronics store, I was feeling like Tony Stark, aka Elon Musk of SpaceX and Tesla, and picked up a Leap Motion Controller. The Leap Motion Controller senses your hands and fingers and follows their every move. Before using your Leap Motion with the computer, you must download their Airspace Home application that provides the proper drivers and access to apps through their specific Leap Motion friendly store. Upon opening the Airspace Home application, you will find an orientation app that's preloaded and shows off what the Leap Motion Controller can see in great detail. As you can now see on the screen, it is detecting each one of my hands and will follow each finger independently no matter which direction I point them. It's pretty nifty. Applications range from the New York Times to fun games like Boomball. One of the applications that I found to be most interesting is called Better Touch Tool. It allows you to connect keyboard shortcuts to Leap Motion Controller gestures. So for example, in my application, I enabled it so that when I rotate my index finger clockwise, it increases the volume, and when I rotate it counterclockwise, it decreases the volume. Pretty sweet. For $80, the Leap Motion seems like a pretty cool device, and it seems to be the start of something much bigger than itself. I'm really interested to see where this technology is going to go in the near future, and if you'd like to see a cool video of Elon Musk actually using the Leap Motion Controller himself with a pretty cool application, or learn some more of the technical details about the Leap Motion Controller, you can find them and much more in the article that accompanies this video. As an Android user, I absolutely love the Google Play Music All Access streaming service. But as a Mac user, I was always a little disappointed that I couldn't use the media keys on my keyboard to control the Google Play web player. That was until I found this handy little Chrome extension, Sway FM. Sway FM supports all of the popular music streaming services, Pandora, uh, Google Play Music, obviously, Last FM, and much, much more. So all you have to do is install the extension to your Chrome browser, and that's it. It allows you to play, pause, and skip tracks just like you would in iTunes, even when Chrome is in the background. So really, it's a pretty simple app, but it's a function that I've been looking for for quite a while. If you'd like to see more information about Sway FM, just go to the URL, Sway FM. Easy enough. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this episode of Techspresso. As always, you can follow us on our newly updated and awesome website, techspresso.net. Thanks for designing that. Or on Facebook, Twitter, whatever, iTunes, you know, all that junk. So, goodbye.